I would like to share this with somebody intimately, share my life with them. I just don't want to be alone. You can share with me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking care of my mother. I feel sorry for her also, actually. She knows. She knows that I love her very much. Hindi ko nga alam ang pag-aagoy ka sa amin. Hindi ko nga alam ang pera na ngayaw ko kasi dyan sa amin. Mga ko tumagal dyan pa ka, makaasawa ko, kinalayo ako. Gusto kong kumupkup sa kanya at patapusin siya sa pag-aaral dahil hindi lang naman ito buhay niya eh. Ang pag-uusapan dito ay buhay kung may kapatid siya, buhay ng kapatid niya, buhay ng parents niya. What I want in my life. Why am I inside the hospital? I want to get discharged and take care of my mother forever and ever until she passes away. Why can't anybody understand my situation right now? After my mom passes away, that is up to my family members if they want to send me to hospital. I won't mind. I am a big adult woman, not a little girl that you have to take care every single day. When I am inside the dormitory, there is nothing to do inside and that is when I will start feeling down and sometimes want to cry because I regret the things I have done in the past. Sometimes I wonder what are the rules and regulations. As part of my sister's recovery process, her therapist asked her to journal her thoughts and her feelings and what she would like to say to her family. Hello, this is uh, Linda's sister. Can I talk to her? How are you today? Not feeling good. Uh. Why? What's wrong? Frustrated. Why are you frustrated? Because not the mercy that I got his head cold. Ah, but I spoke to your doctor just now. The doctor said that Linda's current frustrations stem from not being around mom. My sister has a severe fear of my mom passing on while my sister is in hospital. Because when my father died in 2004, my sister was attending a week-long job training program. And my father's death was sudden. And so for her to come back from work and suddenly be told to go to the hospital and arriving at the hospital and being told that our father was brain dead. It was a hugely traumatic experience for all of us as well as for someone in her capacity. Don't anyhow go beat people lah. Oh, pam pam pam. So yes, so you need to control your anger. Ah, understand? Tadi ni saya tanya, how are you today? Do you feel anything like want to beat people or what? 
No, I want to scream, shout, and cry. Uh. Cry is okay. My sister had smacked another patient with her slipper. The doctors have told her, you need to show us that you are able to control your emotions. And only then would you be considered suitable for discharge. Okay, anything you can call me, okay? Okay. Alright, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. She's in her 40s now. <laughs> so it's been decades of trying to figure out, trying to understand her symptoms. And she is suddenly being told that whatever illness she thought she had before is not what it is. It was jarring for me when I found out yesterday. I just didn't know how to process it. What now? Where do we go from here? Minta sa anak ko don, nakita ang yung mga kapatid ko, ang yung mga pamilya ko, kaawawa, alam nakita ko. Minsan, makain kami, parang naawa naawa din ba ako? Parang wala din ako gal na kumain sa mga pam sumali sa ano mga pamilya ko. Sabi ko, pangarap ko din sana makatap gusto makatapos ayo kong minto sabi ko parang nagsasalita na ako bigla ko sabi ko ayo parang ayo ko na minto sa pag-aaral gusto ko makatapos hanggang grade grade 12 makatapos ako gusto ko din makatapos ng pag-aaral yun din yung pangarap ko kahit na, alam ko mahirap Pagpunta tayo ng school para mag-enroll ka kasi pinasamaan pinasama ka ni Vice na mag-enroll sa school. Mag-enroll po siya ngayon? Yes po ma'am. I'm going to assign him grade 7 empathy. Ito po yung learning plan po natin, ma'am. Magsistart po sa October 16, which is tomorrow po. Ang first subject niya is ang Mathematics 7. So, example po, mag-fill up. Uh, hindi ko pala, hindi ko din alam lang ano. Nang dito, din, dito talaga ako mag-aaral sa Sambo. Siyempre, nang bagong school, nang ba bago pa ako dito, nag-endral ako kasi kinakabahan ako. Minto sana ako doon. Sabi mga insyan ko, nang pumupunta sa bayan namin, kailangan mag, tapos mag-aaral, huwag mag-aasawa mag kasi bata pa tayo. Doon din na umano ako. for every parent to sometimes worry especially when you're traveling and and you're not in touch the mind is too imaginative it takes the better of you sometimes so it's good to hey wake up she's fine don't worry
she'll be back. She'll be fine. My therapist in my last session, she asked me how many heartbreaks will you have in life? So I said hundreds of little ones. She said, okay, suppose you have a thousand small heartbreaks and five major ones. Assuming what just happened is a major heartbreak. So are you taking this trip because of that? I guess I've also been asking myself, why did I take this trip? Oh, this is nothing. The wheel. Oh, oh God. My Pull friend. your hair. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to do pottery no, anymore. No, no. It'll teach you. It'll teach you a lot. Patience. It'll teach you. Uh, you're not perfect. What you mean is not perfect. Nothing's in your control. Yes. All of those realities of adult life. <laughs> what was loneliness in the city became solitude. That's beautiful in and perfect. Us. Because I also only want to be okay with being alone. Because that whole fear of oh, having to constantly have people and things and... I think space matters. And I think pottery has a lot to do with it. Like, I feel I was most disconnected with soil in the city. Like there was just concrete everywhere. And if I see glass, I feel anxious. So glass buildings make me anxious. And we are most removed from this element. So I guess I finally did admit it to myself that I have come out on my own, fill my cup, which has been emptied plenty in the last couple of years. So I need to refill this and reset a lot of things. Limo 你不好的消息对吧那个咱们要去的云南的景区关门了为什么呢因为那个疫情更严重了就是疫情情况有缓解我就去北京回到北京跟你多住两天住两星期陪你玩一玩好吗嗯<笑> 
。OK， 那就这样 ，See you， 拜拜。For a long time, I took the lead on my sister's treatment. There have been incidents in the last three months alone. She's blown up at my mom maybe two to three times. When she doesn't get what she wants, she will resort to violence. And there have been instances where my sister feels betrayed. She thinks like, "Why do you go and tell the doctor that I I hit you? You know, you try your hardest to be as kind and compassionate as possible, and still have to face abuse." From the person you're providing care for. Thank you for sharing your perspective. And as a result of caregiver burnout, I myself was diagnosed with depression in 2016. I decided to put my foot down and get a personal protection order against my sister. A couple of years after the PPO was filed. My sister went through another relapse, and she started to verbally attack me. And she was banging on the door, and I had a panic attack. Yeah, so we had to call the police, and then my sister was escorted to a facility for her to essentially cool down until she stabilized. And since then, I have been more involved in advocacy work around raising awareness on mental health, and essentially working towards breaking down the stigma. Hi Richard, good morning. My name is Nadia. I'm calling from Caregivers Alliance Limited. We follow up with our alumni just to see how you are coping. So at Cal, I am a skilled volunteer in a part-time capacity. Right now, I am working with the team that does community outreach for our existing pool of caregivers. How have you been, Richard? Ah,、uh, not so good lately. I've got some issue with the hospital. My father refused to wear a mask, and I put him there. Will you accept him or not to see the doctor? He said no. I said, then what am I supposed to do? Yeah, that's、right? really frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, really frustrated. And how is、and、your father? But he's 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 very agitated. He's really bad. Last 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 two weeks, he become very violent. So sometimes I feel bad, especially with the caregivers who I can tell on the phone、um, feels defeated. All frustrated, and she got to the point where she didn't want to go home. Yes, I don't want to say this, but we can't help everyone. Okay, but what we can do is to let them know that they are not alone. And in this case, if it's something that we can't cope at our level, that's the next best thing is to actually refer it to someone else,、okay. internally or even to an external agency. In this case,、yeah. don't feel guilty or don't feel bad about not being able to help them. You know, we always talk about self care, right? You don't have to feel guilty. About doing something, like people will charge you. But who cares? Who cares about what people charge you, right? Yep. Yeah. Self care is not selfish, but it's really hard, lah. When it's one of those conversations where, you know, the person on the other line is 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 crying. Sometimes I feel like, um, helpless. Like I feel a little bit uh useless. Like I wish I had a solution for them. There's no such thing as feeling a bit useless for not being able to help. The fact that you make that call out to them, and you allow them to have the outlet to actually let it out, that's really very useful for them. Most of us at Cal are caregivers ourselves. I try to remind myself that my job is to create a safe space for them. The moment I I happen to share that I'm also a caregiver.
if you have money there's security to take chances if you don't have money how much chan- how many chances are you going to take rajiv was fully dependent on me that time because he hadn't worked so I was funding our lives together and i was just getting fried and i was just like frustrated financially that's why because i worked in jan i can do this trip yeah. and not be stressed and exactly not feel like i can't spend whatever a little bit on myself yeah it's like take one for the team but you are the team i am the team so very much like my moment from that film hindi movie z n m b where the crossing rate dramatically tells him to let go just let it go <sighs> i have also come to let it all go quote and quote my emotional baggage will be deposited on this ride ंगलेक्टिवलीकोन Okay, everything. Okay. Okay. Just run and fly, and everything is okay. Ready? One, two, three, run! <gasps> run! I'm running! I'm running! I'm running! Keep running! Keep running! Keep running! Go! Hey! Ah! Yeah! Oh yes! Is it comfort? Comfort. 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 so scared before coming on this trip because I was like what am I going to do alone how am I going to be um this trip has been the greatest trip of my life i've met the most amazing people really like minded free spirited amazing souls and looking at them all live their lives i just feel like why can't i i do can take risks i can be brave and i think i surprised by my own ability to be this person i never gave myself enough credit had a really good time i finished crying while i was in the sky only i think the sky is too beautiful today it's been like magic and the clouds on this side and the sky on that side and i was just in awe of this beautiful planet i think a big one was that i release all resistance i did it no more resistance
alas 5, alas 4. Magpagising ako ng umaga, alas 4. Na, Nakaon lang siya. Tapos mag-good mag morning ako. Pero di ko rin sabi na, di ko, di ko rin sabi na isip ng text mate ko siya. Text ko siya. Pumunta na ako sa bahay nila. Doon kami nakapag-usap-usap sa, sa bahay nila kasi dalawa lang kami sa bahay nila. Kasi wala din ako gin, ginagawa malik sa, kan, doon, sa kanya. Ano nang magulang ko? Nang dore parang nag... Pero ayaw nila magbigay ng 80,000. Sana kukukuha ng pera, sabi ko. Malaki, malaki, malaki ng pinagsisisiyan ko. Kita niya sa ganito na yun. Ha? Huh? Oh, Early marriage is uh, very rampant in Sulu. No? This is a cultural practice. May mga kilala din ako na uh, nag-asawa ng maaga dahil pinambayad ng utang. So that dory may be ginamit doon sa pambayad ng utang. Sam? Salam alaikum. No, 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 na kao. Nagasawa na kao? Oh. Ito mo ko invite. Di na ko magbalik mari pa sa buangga. Na di mo na taluso ni pag school mo? Saan bang ka umabaya mag-school pa? Yari ra ako dahil dito ba ang takawa module mo? So nalungkot ako actually nung nalaman ko na mag-aasawa si Sam. Subukan ka usapin yung school. Ihabol na lang yung mga modules. Baka pwede requirements. Tulungan ko na lang. Sana makatapos si Sam. Basta hanapan natin ng way. Ha 那段时间那么长时间终于结果了前期那么从他二十岁的时候终于接了
吗？那你蛋糕什么样啊？吃了吗？同学都走了。你得的那个，你得的那礼物是什么呀？这个。都，哎呦哎呦，还金的呢。你跟他说，你说等你回，等你回北京，你再给我补一身礼物。等你回北京，你再给我补一身礼物。给一房子送给你。里头其中就是有一栋房子，就是叫你名字，以你名字命名，行吗？你平时见不到他，你会想他？还行。还行是什么呀？还行就是有的时候想，有的时候不想。不想，我每次都是想他那大胡子，然后感觉特别渣，然后就不想。当时搬，就是从北京搬到贵阳的时候，有没有考虑他的元素？就是他在这儿，而你搬走了，会陪他时间短啊什么的？考虑的，考虑了，但是确实那时候呢，你说我，就完全应该考虑孩子的因素吗？嗯，还是说，先考虑自己，再考虑孩子呢？我个人感觉就是说我。就是说，我先考虑自己，再考虑孩子。我觉得我在北京可能就是活不好，我很痛苦，很很累，那么也无也无暇照顾孩子。即便在孩子身边，可、嗯、能也反而效果不太好。我总算还是我的名片。嗯，好，谢谢。谢谢，新年快乐。慢走了。When there's a lockdown today, the whole village is very quiet. You didn't see a soul. And this also, we just wandered into a tea estate. It's so beautiful. Today, finally, the sun is out and the whole vibe has changed. I feel like my body has freed up. Need to refill this being and reset a lot of things. That's one expectation, I suppose, I have from this trip. But honestly, I'm trying to release any expectations from each day, from myself, from the place, the situation, like the river this morning. You can't really swim against the tide. You have to go with the flow, and to let go, and to let go, and to trust. Disoriented in Mumbai city. People only became monstrous on the flight. Only as soon as we landed, suddenly everyone's running. I'm in no race. Been on this trip for the first time alone, absolutely. Ah, 
time for herself to think about what she wants, clarity of thought and mind and relationships and everything. Uh, I hope she's found what she was looking for in the seven, eight weeks that she's been away because she's had a lot of time to think, to reinvent, to recreate her or whatever that she wanted to do. I guess choosing to hit pause on my personal life was the right decision. Also, it felt right. I don't know what work is going to be like. Everything is on hold. I have to go with the flow. I cannot make a plan. I cannot commit to anything. There is no control, which Corona has taught us. There is no control which we have. So why to plan? I'll wake up every day and decide what do I feel like doing now. At least for now. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Asawa ko nagkasakit kasi ng anak ko nalaglag nalaglag ng bata hindi ko nga alam mga ano ginawa ng asawa kasi sabi na wal hindi naman siya nagdadala ng mabigat ang pangarap ko doon kasi mang magkami magkaroon ma isang 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 anak tapos sabi ko sa asawa ko magdap mag at magdamot ka na lang sabi ko magugat ka pa hindi ka lang sabi ko ma dumami na anak Kahit sabi ko, iwan ka sabi ko sa bahay, sa bahay, mag-isama na may, may kasama ka sabi ko. Ang anak mo sabi ko, sabi niya, oh, kasi mag-aanap ko, kasi sabi ko, tayo, tayo lang sabi ko mag-aanap buhay. Kasi yung dati, doon kasi tumitira, doon kami tumitira sa, sa, ano, sa bahay ng mga nanay ko, tatay ko kasi parang mar marami kami kasi sa bahay. Tapos parang isang sakong bigas, mga limang araw lang maubos na. Tapos naisipan ko, sabi ko, mag-iwalay-walay na lang tayo, maggawa na lang tayo sa ng bahay. Kanya sa kanya, sabi, sabi mga kapatid ko. Hindi ka na natuloy kasi mapalpak din ng ano, bahay ko po. Kasi balak ko doon. Hindi ko natatapusin ang bahay ko kasi nahirapan ako. Wala ako. Ano, wala. Kasi makaipon ako isang buwan. Mapay. 300 lang. Wala na ko kuha lang paggastos sa bahay. Pangbili ng ulam. Wala na. Wala na ako maipon. Tapos sabi ko sa asawa ko, hindi. Babaya mo na ng bahay ta doon. Uli, balik ulit na lang sabi ko, makaanap ako ng ano, tarabaho. Anap ako muna. Dito ka muna sabi ko sa nanay ko. Sabi ng asawa ko, oh, sige ikaw. Yun din yung naisip ko mag-aanak buhay ako kasi wala na sabi ko tutulog sa akin kasi, kasi mag-anak. Yun din, naisip ko din yun kasi balak ko, do, balak ko yun kasi kahit wala ako bangka, makairam lang ako kasi alam mo na nang ano, mga pinsan, makairam. Magagalagal kasi yun kasi niisip ko. Tapos magbukid kasi mag, mag lumaki na yung mga tanim ko, pwede ko ibibinta yun. Kasi mahirap kasi magbukit. Kailangan gagawin namin to Kasi wala nang kasi ano na, wala ma, ma ano nang buhay namin. Wala, wala kami hintayan sa buhay.
，这次是第一次一个人过情人节，这很正常，我觉得这太正常了。以后可能还会有更多的这种时候。我希望能够好好的，能够找一段关系啊，真正找一个有文化、有知识的，能够跟我谈得来的。偶尔我会想到说不公平，凭什么我得，凭什么我哥不得？哼！但是实际呢，这偶尔非常非常偶尔的，多数是我是不会这么想的。多数我想的是另外一件事情，就是说，上帝是公平的，我认为上帝是公平的。就是说，嗯，怎么说呢？就老话说，或者说常说，说给你关上一关上一扇门，打一扇窗。就是说我得这个病，可能我就不会得癌症啊。我是这么考虑的哈。本身我就是很乐观的人，我真的不是那个，不是说，呃，胡说八道，或者说我那个什么，我强忍着，我真的没有。你要说真的和一般人不同的话，我就稍微有一点点的消极，就认为我明天可能会死。My mom has been admitted to hospital so regularly since September 2019. Every single time she gets admitted, I mentally prepare myself for the worst. Especially because our father died so suddenly, that after that experience, I always prepare myself for the worst. And we don't know how much longer my mom's going to be with us. And that's the scariest part. So Wei and I had planned an anniversary lunch today uh, because we met in real life 15 years ago this week. But unfortunately, I can't leave the house because we got a call from my mother's daycare centre today saying there is a positive COVID case uh, of one of the patients. Naturally, I am disappointed, but I think this is my life now. Like I constantly get thrown curveballs and I spend my anniversary with my mom in the room. <laughs> Hi, babe. Excuse me, miss. Um, I've got a delivery for you. <laughs> Don't be nonsense. Uh, I understand it's a lunch uh, with your partner. Yeah. Okay. Um, your, this is from your partner, however, there was an additional order. Oh my god, what's that? There was an additional order from one minute. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh. Don't look at the side, just open. Don't look at the side, just open. Yes. No! <laughs> this is hysterical! <laughs> I figure I'll let you have at least one in the house. You like it? I love it. <laughs> I love how I look like Toto on that. <laughs> okay, so are you ready for me to take out your gift? I will take it out and okay, I will okay, present okay. it to you. Alright, alright. Okay? Alright. Alright. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> With Wayne and I, our relationship was straining from the amount of stress I have been under as a caregiver, being worried about my family, uh, my siblings. Wayne also felt helpless because there's only so much he can do to provide support. We were getting frustrated with each other. Yeah, can you get the orange pixie? 
I am very fortunate that I am with a man who wants to be a better person. He does not let his insecurities stand in the way of us being stronger as a couple. I think she's doing as well as she can be. Considering everything that's happened, I'm just happy to see her still, after everything, still smiling. I'm quite determined to look forward to better things and I'm so grateful for my siblings. We've put aside our differences and we've gotten along in a way that we've never gotten along ever before in our lives.